Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add uh, damage events to your own blueprint. So I'm just going to set up a quick example. Um, so I'm going to create a blueprint, actor, I'm just going to go into that. And I'm going to create a cube. And we're just going to use this cube so we can see the actor in the world and we have uh, something to shoot at. Now it's important that your collision is blocking the visibility trace so you can see it is blocking it so that's all okay so we can give that a quick compile and then we'll go to class settings uh, inherited interfaces click add and then we'll search for survival inventory interface and again we'll compile that go to the event graph and now we can search for event damage now we can add in the event damage here and this is going to be called um, whenever our box gets shot or hit by the player um, so I'm just going to drag out a print string and we'll plug in the damage there and your actor will need to be uh, replicated so make sure that's ticked and compile and save that so next we can test this out. So I'm going to drag in our actor, play, and I'm going to go and grab a gun quickly. So um, I'll show you how to set up a simple um, health system for this cube. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new variable, call it health, set it to an integer, um, and we'll set its value to 100. And in here we can get health minus off the damage, set the health, and then after that we can do an if and we can do uh, if health is um, equal to or less than so if a is less than or equal to b we can plug it in there we can do true which means it's less than zero we can do destroy actor if false we don't have to do anything so again, we'll just test this out quickly. So this is just a, a quick, easy example of a little health system for your blueprint. It's destroyed. So next, I'm going to show you how to set up the hitboxes. So right now, this is using um, no hitboxes. All we're doing is hitting an actor that can receive damage. So if we go into the blueprints folder, then the characters folder, then we can go to master character. And you can see if we go to the viewport, we've got these uh, hitboxes. Now, um, each hitbox has a specific name. Now this name is important because this is how um, the system decides what damage to apply to your character. So if you have uh, an AI, for example, you need to make sure all of the names are the same, exactly the same with capitals um, on your, your AI. Now, um, when you create a collision at a sphere, so I'll do one here for an example. Um, we'll do a capsule, and by default, it will probably not be attached to the um, thing. So you can see we've got a new capsule here that I've just added in, and see that there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to parent that to your mesh. So if you're making an AI, this will be your character's main mesh, which is here. So now we've set it to a child, we can apply it to a bone. So if we go into here, we can hit the magnifying glass and we can actually attach this uh, cylinder to any bone we want. So I'm going to choose uh, head like so and you can see it's gone off in a bit of a weird direction but that's fine we can just position it um, and if you want to turn off your character moving you can untick real time which will make it easier and you can position your uh, sphere 
might need to reset, there you go, if you reset the uh, location as I just did and you can position your um, collision as you as you want and so we'll just imagine that's in the right place. Now when I hit real time you can see it will follow your character's um, body and that's how you can set up a, um, a hitbox. So in your, so if you have a hitbox in your um, blueprint uh, which we'll do now. Um, so I'll go to my new blueprint. So again, this is just an example. I'm going to add in a capsule and we'll go into the viewport. Um, now I don't have any bones to attach this to, to anything, so I'm just going to make this really big. And I'm going to call this the headshot um, hitbox. So we'll be doing headshot damage to our actor now. Um, so compile it and then always make sure you get the right name because that will uh, cause you issues. So I'm going to go quickly back to our master character and you see I'm just going to copy the name and rename paste like that and always make sure that your um, capsules are blocking you can see here visibility is overlapping we need to go into custom and I'm going to tick ignore but for visibility I'm going to tick block so we can compile that and save it. Now if I go back to our event graph, if you remember we were doing 10 damage, so if I drag off and do a print string now, we will be doing headshot damage. So uh, let's take a look. just done 40 damage per hit and that's because the uh, system detects that we're hitting a headshot hitbox and it deals the weapons headshot damage. So I hope this helps people out. I know a few people have been asking for something like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe and join our new Discord. Uh, thank you for watching.